FC Downtown Chattanooga for the inaugural Grave Diggers Ball put on by Hits 96, sponsored by Snapdragon Hip tonight. What the fuck is up, Denny's? What the fuck is up, Denny's? <laughs> Denny's? I love Denny's. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Jeff, you're just gonna wait in the corner. <laughs> Jeff, you can go around. We're so, okay, we gotta go. We gotta go. <laughs> yep. Can I hit that? <laughs> We're doing, we're doing a video interview for Snapdragon Hemp. Snapdragon? Yeah. I love THCA. What you want to see on this video? <laughs> <laughs> well, I heard there was blood bags and also weed, especially THCA. So Shout out to THCA. One Mississippi. I want to come somewhere I can smoke, I can get drunk. Two Mississippi. Three Mississippi. Oh, Mississippi. All right. <laughs> Rob, where we at tonight? We're downtown at the Moxie at the first annual Grave Diggers Ball. That is right. So you're going to be doing this with me tonight? The Grave Diggers Ball with my man, Jim Jam. You know what's good. Our COO, Robert Scott, has spoken. We're both little fucking weird creatures. And I mean that in the most predatory sense. <laughs> but we got to go talk to some people. We all like a little bit. <laughs> And uh, we don't like talking to people, but we gotta walk up to some people, ask them some questions tonight. We gotta know what they're thinking tonight. We gotta know what they think. <laughs> I don't know if I maybe got into a fight with that guy at some point or what, but I think I know him. Yo, they playing Kanye, even though Kanye is canceled right now. Mike Wazowski? <laughs> <laughs> Mike Wazowski. I'm sweaty, this thing's hot as hell. I don't know where Rob went. Hell yeah. He's eating a piece of pizza. We went back over there. All right, so so say your name and what you do for Hits 96. I am DeMarlin Dean, and I'm the general sales manager for Hits 96. Hell yeah. Very important man right here. Yes, that's me. <laughs> so tell us about your outfit. You dressed up or you do normally just dress like this? So thanks to Yellowstone, I kind of normally dress like this. So I have lots of cowboy hats and boots and every Friday I normally wear this. So this is literally what I wore to work today. Hell yeah. All right, tell me about you guys' outfits tonight. I mean, clearly we are the best 100% GNR yeah. Yeah. slash Axl Rose. Yeah. You already know the vibe. Party on. It's the jungle, baby. Absolutely. All right. Do you guys have a favorite? So you guys want to tell me about your outfits tonight? Beetlejuice, say my name. Three times. Three times. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice. I'm Zoro, the pirate hunter. Greatest swordsman in the world. And I'm uh, Luffy, king of the pirates, right here one and only. So first off, tell me about your outfit tonight. Um, it's supposed to be a troop revolt. So 666, like anarchy, Girl Scouts, yeah. Word, word. <laughs> so my lovely wife over there is Heat Miser, and I'm Snow Miser. Hell yeah. Whatever I touch. It was like the claymation, like yeah. Christmas movie, right? Yeah, I love that thing as a kid. I don't know where Robert is. <laughs> All right, do you have a favorite Halloween movie? No. What's your favorite Halloween movie? My favorite Halloween movie is Friday the 13th. Gang! If your favorite movie is Friday the 13th, why are you dressed up as Jason? Because that's my boyfriend. Gang! Boyfriend! Gang! 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 All right, do you remember what your first Halloween costume was? Yes, my first Halloween costume was a dinosaur. I'll be honest, I probably don't remember. I was probably a toddler. I think it was Casper the Friendly Ghost. Hell yeah, that sounds pretty lit. I knew I was a pumpkin at like one years old. I think it was Dorothy. From Finding Nemo? Uh, Dorothy, like, uh. Oh, from from the Wizard of Oz? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, that's actually a pretty solid outfit. Yeah. It, it was either a ninja or not. All right, then, then what is the first Halloween costume that you ever remember having? I did do this like werewolf mask thing one year and worked in a haunted house. Gang! What's your favorite part about Halloween? Well, obviously, it's, it's just the adults being kids again. You know, everybody just dressing up and having a good time and forgetting who they are on their nine to five. Yeah, I definitely think a lot more people should be in support of adult trick-or-treating. I'd support it. If you came to my house, hey, I'd dish out the candy. Now, you got any further Halloween plans as we near up on the actual holiday itself Monday? You know, I, I do not. I'm, I'm old as dirt, so we'll probably go trick-or-treating with our grandkids or something like that. So we're full-time in our RV, and evidently the kids are all coming trick-or-treating around the campground tomorrow. So. Okay, that sounds pretty fun. Sounds pretty fun camping out there with it. You don't seem that old. I am. You know what they say, black don't crack. Black 
Hey, fed up. It should be Halloween. Everybody, uh, 11 fly your free out of the flag year. right now. And fly it high. High. High as Snapdragon. <laughs> Gang. You guys have a favorite horror movie or slasher flick, anything like that? I'm a sucker for it. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the new one, but not chapter two, because that was trash. 2017 is. Yeah, it, it. in chapter one, that was good. Not Meryl on Elm Street. Oh. Not Meryl on Elm Street, hell yeah. Freddy Krueger's my fave, too. I mean, out of all the ones, you know, Freddy Krueger can get you anywhere. 13 Ghosts, best horror movie ever made. Gl uh, Guillermo del Toro's new new series out on Netflix just came out this week. It's stellar horror series, stellar horror series. I'm a sucker for all the Saw movies. Well, I can tell you the most recent one I saw it was Smile. It's pretty good. Someone else told us about Smile tonight. I have not seen that, and I had actually not heard about it until that person told us. So, do, so you really like yeah, that? I thought it was pretty good. You should go check it out. You ever heard of Fazoli's in Fort Oglethorpe, Georgia? I heard you got free meals on your birthdays. I don't know where everyone went. I think they're back in the tent. Hey, that shit rhymed. All right, so what brings you guys out to the Moxie for Hits 96 is first grave digger ball we love halloween and everybody is coming out to be a freak tonight and we really appreciate it we love that and why six tested drug and rock and roll that is a good message you guys have a good night that was a good message all right thank you guys very much you'll have an excellent evening game